there's a uh, Zod Bane says, are you getting choked? Where do we send help? No. Um, during the sound check, I will often say help. And uh, that's because I'm testing the plosive on the P sound. Help. Help. Uh, it's a, um, it's a uh, common sound check thing. If you're ever at a nightclub and you see the musicians go on and they're checking the microphone and they say help, don't worry. No one's putting a gun to their head. It's just something that they're, they're doing to check the, uh, the microphone. Somebody might be putting a gun to their head. I'm not sure. Uh, here, I've got a waffle that's very cooked on the one side, but on the other side, okay. honestly, doesn't look that bad. Let's throw that on there, make it look nice. Go over here and we have an order up. Oh, fuck. Uh, factoid, the year that I was born, which would have been 1969, was actually... Uh, there, there was uh, about four billion people on the planet, and now there's more like eight billion. So technically, there's eight billion, there, there's twice as many people now as there were when I was born. So if you think about it, according to the law of supply and demand, where the more scarce something is, the more valuable it is. Um, as human beings, we are all technically half as valuable as we were um, 50 years ago. So I think that's kind of a cool little factoid you can drop on people. If anybody ever says, you're a worthless human being, you can say, you know what, technically, you're right. So obviously ours isn't going to come out looking that perfect, but I would say overall, we definitely came close. This is our three layer mousse, triple chocolate mousse uh, situation. Generator, automatic lover, atomic, atomic. as you can see those are much tighter um, but uh, it's still basically the same thing do I do catering I had a neighbor of mine uh, that I was talking to in front uh, of our uh, complex uh, who asked what I do and I told him that I was a chef and he asked if I could cater for his um, event that they were having and uh, I said, sure. And then he, he asked how much money it was. And I said, well, you're my neighbor. I'm not going to charge anything. So I did it completely for free. And uh, I made, uh, I think I made my chutney cheese weenie bites. And uh, they didn't like them. And they told me afterward that, uh, that it sucked. And um, I said, well, what do you expect for free, you know? If you want something good, if you want quality, you have to pay somebody. Ancient philosophy was framed by prodigies. Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates. And even though their thoughts were deemed the aristocratic voice, also were attracted to little boys. Catherine the Great, 
So it's been said Needed farm animals to be fulfilled in bed From the historic rulers to the ancient Greeks We're standing on the shoulders of freaks That's a true story um, This bag is brand new and it's got 16 ounces we're supposed to put in two cups of flax so I believe that means I'm gonna put half the bag Alexa how many bags of flax is 16 ounces here is what I found 0 0.5 cups of flax seeds weighs about 2.9 ounces was that helpful no. Okay. Thanks for your feedback. Okay, I think we're just gonna go ahead and put the whole bag in there. Uh, I dropped my dish, this is speed. I dropped my dish on the ground. Should I start over or do the five second rule? Yeah, five second rule is true. I looked it up online and uh, saw an article. There were about 95 articles that said that the five second rule was bullshit and they mostly occurred in scientific magazines, but I did find one um, outlier who said that the five second rule actually was true. So you can go with that person and uh, eat off the floor. I actually, uh, after I was done, I heard a couple of kids playing out in the street and I, um, I, I gave them a little sampling of my, uh, of my Canadian butter tarts and I, I think it went well. I actually have the video here I can show you. So, uh, you know, I think it's a good idea if you're, if you're eating your food all by yourself, um, you have to ask yourself whether you're really helping the world. Uh, Gerda, I love you. Can we be friends? Yeah, let's do it, Gerda. Let's be friends. I, I when I started Twitch about five months ago, um, I was, uh, broke. I was depressed. I was drinking probably more than I should. And now here I am five months later, I'm still broke, still depressed, still drinking. I wanna uh, say that in August, I'm gonna, I have a little bit of time and I'm gonna get really serious about it. I'm gonna um, try to get to be a partner and um, with your help, I'm, I'm gonna also add a, a Wednesday night stream, I believe, or maybe a Thursday night where uh, we just do music and uh, maybe play some games and do other things. But I will say that Twitch, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, Twitch has enhanced uh, the quality of my life. And uh, I think it's because it gives me a level of interaction with people that I wasn't previously experiencing and I haven't experienced for many years. So I want to thank you for that.